So, I finished up with my latest whole blood donation not too long ago. Is that what? Um, I'm currently vlogging. Is that okay? Oh, you're vlogging. Yeah. Put on your YouTube channel? Yep. Oh, this is pretty good cheese. Mm, I'm very glad I got this coupon. Now, at least for this location, you can have your mask off while you're sitting in the recovery room because uh, you're considered to be eating, right? Yeah. Okay. But at least for now, you have to wear a mask during all the other time. And you can't wear a N95 mask because of the because an N95 mask has the um the yeah the air vent it's basically equivalent to not wearing a mask at all It's, it's currently 8.37. I set my appointment for 7.45. Here's how my arm is following the donation. They don't usually use my left arm, but a pretty good vein was found on this side. This sort of area. So, the right arm wasn't even checked. This location in particular has a kind of chair that'll elevate your legs. So, that exercise where you or you raise one leg and hold it there for a few seconds and then put it down and then switch to the other leg doing the same thing I kind of felt that was being done for me but I still made a little bit of an effort to do that exercise anyway I called my dad as soon as I went to the recovery room. Or I guess more technically recovery area.
dad was meant to donate with me today, but he didn't want to because he had a cold sore. on the sort of side of his bottom lip it's not contagious but plus I think there were issues with uh, signing them up with me for my appointment I went to bed around 2.30 in the morning. I woke up at 6.50 in the morning. And I think pretty much as soon as I got up, I went to wake my dad up. I opened the door to his room and called out for him. And he got up. From here we did, I did some things to prepare. I filled up a plastic glass. That was orange with with water from the bathroom sink. And then Dad made me a peanut butter jelly sandwich contained within a hot dog bun. And I ate that. Both right before and during. Well, during what ended up being a very brief car ride. I think it was just a minute or two. The needle stick in particular, where they uh, usually prick your middle finger as part of a hemoglobin test, It wasn't that bad for me. Now, this finger doesn't currently hurt for me, but apparently it's possible the same finger could get pricked twice if you have low hemoglobin and the sort of, I'm guessing, technician that uh, supervised by donation.
Mm. Hey, you know, I think the cobalt cheese is healthier than the cheese it's in the Welch's fruit snacks. It is. How you doing? It's going pretty good. Uh, thanks for taking care of me during my donation. I brought this sticker with me. In this pants pocket. I was initially going to wear the... The short sleeve yellow tie-dye Greece Athena shirt. But Dad didn't want me to wear that shirt because... I had already worn it many times, which is fair, since I typically that's the shirt I think of first because it's a loose fitting shirt for me some of the other shirts are of a tighter fit Technically speaking, at least at this location, you don't need a photo ID. You could just install the blood do the American Red Cross blood donor app, and through it, you can create a blood donor ID. And that ID is actually better than a photo ID. Because with a photo ID, what the? Hmm. Um, this seems to be kind of frozen solid. Um, can, uh, can I uh, tell you something real quick? Mm -hmm. Uh, this frozen one... frozen solid because we put the whole, um, package of water back here. So there's water that's frozen and there's cold water that isn't frozen. So he packed it up a little too much. Oh, okay. So that's why it's frozen solid. I mean, there's water right here that isn't frozen solid in the front. The oh. back ones are just frozen. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. It's still pretty good, though. It is. I know you just can't get the rest of the water. <laughs> yeah, it's not a problem. I'll just uh, bring it with me, and then uh, when I get uh, back home, it'll take uh, roughly an hour or two for the rest to melt, right? Right. Okay. Is it okay if I take more cobalt cheese and then take three for the road? I really uh, like that cheese. And it's just a second. You start to realize that, all right, it's not so good. Then you start to realize that it's not so good. You start to realize that it's not so good. No, it's fine. You can take a couple. Hey, thank you. Okay, thanks.
What? You look bored a little. Bored? Yeah, well, I'm tr trying to think of uh, what to say for my vlog. Uh, plus, I got a bit distracted by that parody of, uh, these are a few of my favorite things. Uh, since I watched another parody of that some time ago.